five minute lightning talk, so I have to be lightning fast. My name is Andre, and who has a good time here at RemixConf? Huh? Give it up, yeah? But unfortunately, we all have to leave soon with a sad smile on our face because we had such a good time. But we will be back at work, re energized after this great talk. And we might be confronted by our coworkers who will ask us questions like, how's Remix? Uh, is it worth it? Should we use it for our next migration? I personally believe Remix is awesome. I've never had a better time building for the web. I have never had a better experience building for the web. For so many reasons, right? Like we just had a talk about HMR. How cool is this stuff? But these kind of arguments might not be the right arguments if you want to convince your non-technical stakeholders, right? Um, so what we have to do maybe is put on our business hat and build a business case for, for Remix. And that might sound very boring, just bear with me, okay? So we can, we're excited about something and now we want to uh, excite the people that work with us, right? So we have to translate our excitement to something that business can also be excited about. And I think if you phrase it this way, it sounds a little better. And we are very spoiled with Remix because we have so many angles we could argue about, developer experience, developer productivity. But after Henry's talk this morning, I think we can all agree that web performance is very important and it's a very good case to argue about. Right? We have the web vitals, which are widely known. They might change sometimes, but they're usually very stable and the same. We can all agree on them. There's analytics for that in place at our company, so it's easier to do A-B tests and comparisons. And there are so many existing studies that we can leverage in our business case and be like, hey, Google showed already that if we improve Web Vitals, we can improve business metrics that we care about, like conversions and revenue, right? So our business case could be, if we want to use Remix to improve Web Vitals, we then improve our business metrics. Cool. And what I really like about this angle and arguing about that kind of stuff is that we then have to answer the question, how can we improve the performance of our current application by utilizing Remix? And that's kind of a developer question again, right? Like that's the kind of stuff that we're actually interested in. Cool. Obviously, it heavily depends on your organization, right? Maybe it's a lot of politics where you work, right? Like your tech stack. It depends on who you work with, the team's capabilities, what you're able to do. Um, but let's just go over one uh, blueprint to just show you how I would argue about using Remix. And maybe it helps you. So let's imagine we are a front-end team and we work on a client-side single-page application, right? something like Create React App. It's hosted on a CDN. We are the front-end team, so we own this, create, um, or like this React App. And we only run on the client right now, and we make API requests to APIs that are maybe maintained by different teams. So how can we improve performance by utilizing Remix? Maybe we can identify that we're currently very heavily dependent on the backend teams, right? If our backend guy who, like, I don't know, implements authentication doesn't know how to join tables, then our performance will suffer, right? If the backend team doesn't implement pagination, our performance will suffer because our environment is our user's environment, right? It's the browser. So we don't have to direct control over the web performance if we yeah, are reliant on these other um, teams and companies that we consume the data from. And with Remix, we get access to a server environment, right? We call it the HTTP request handlers or the web server, right? It's basically a backend for our front end that we as the front end team can own, and we can use it as a proxy. Um, and if we like filter the data, or we can do all the cool stuff there, we basically have access to the tools of the server um, to own the performance. So just five points here, but you, I guess you get the, the point, right? After all the cool talks already about caching, I don't have to explain that stuff. Basically, we do the same thing as the React team and fork on, focus on the server environment. So for instance, with server-side rendering and data fetching and streaming, right, we can already set up a nice demo and show like, hey, um, we can uh, um, avoid some round trips and really improve the performance. Maybe you identify that you overfetch a lot of data right now in your application. So you look at your application and say, hey, with Remix loaders, we have an aggregation layer, right? we have an orchestration layer where we can filter out unnecessary data and reduce the client bundle. Obviously, it always depends. Maybe you already use GraphQL to avoid overfetching. Then you maybe can argue that, like Hydrogen, right, we move our GraphQL queries into our loaders to avoid downloading these libraries in our bundles. It always depends on your tech stack. But now you have a new environment that you can choose and make better trade-offs. And that's really the point here, right? With Remix, you have still access to all the, um, the tools of the browser, the tools of the SPA, but you gain also the tools of the browser and the cool tools that Remix provides us, right? The primitives, levers, and conventions. And that will allow us to make better trade-offs. And if you have the chance to make better trade-offs, you will be able to build a solid business case. Yeah, that was all from my side. Thank you so much.
German precision, precision, one second over time. I have actually made this business case, so you can check it out. It's on my blog. Maybe it helps you.